color. So you have Dream Trawlers. You have the Mythos that we can copy things. Bant version of Doom Foretold Enigmatic Incarnation. Sounds sweet, but how's the mana work out for you? Wonder if we can do a flash deck. Just seeing like what good cards we have. Let's see what's left with flash. We have Brazen Borars, we have these Omens. Fairy Vandals. You're a human, you're a fairy, you're a fairy. So we can play a couple of you, you're still decent. You can play... I'm just like throwing stuff together. We'll we'll clean it up in a sec. What do you do? Not enough. Um, okay, we can go with something like this. Is there enough like stuff that you really want to target with Ashiok? Sarah sure. Usually don't like too many of those. Trim that. I don't think we want the standard bearers main. This at least is like removal. Um, heartless. Play some Heartless Axe. We'll try it out. We'll see how it goes. Um, so we have Heartless Axe. Then we want counter. So probably Lofty Denial. So you fly, you fly. Oh, Spectral Sailor goes away. Uh, maybe we don't even want these. Play these. Yeah, I don't think I want Erisher. There any black flying creatures? Like there's Freebooter. Okay, so counter. I think we want like lofty denials. Could be it. So we have card draw in some ways. Our curve's relatively low. We can probably trim a couple lands. Then we can play like opt or um, shark typhoon. So you're a human, you're the... Do it like this. Try this one out. I think Heartless Act is probably the best removal for us. Let's do a couple Fabled's.
just prefer the block castle. Let's try this out. So basically, Demir Flash. Why does it do this? Just want to edit the name. Okay. Well, Demir Flash. Um, so basically, try to play things out of your opponent's turn. You can probably. I think three of these is fine. It's pretty lackluster early. Uh, it is a one mana flash threat. Uh, Spectral Sailor is much better. But Fairy Vandal gets counters when you draw your second card each turn. You can do that with like Omen of the Sea. Uh, you can do that with Slither Wisp. Uh, you have Shark Typhoon as well. Uh, Lofty Denial is either Spell Spike, uh, Four Spike, or four uh, they have to pay four if you have a flyer we have flyers and stuff like a uh, threnody singer uh fairy vandal a brazen borrower you can bounce your opponent's stuff like that pouncing shore shark also allows you to bounce your opponent's stuff some shark typhoons if you flood out but also just a way to get you some extra value uh slither wisp also draws you cards off any of these flash threats so let's try this one out let's see how it goes Actually, gonna give. I can run a game and then I'll give Arena a quick reset. No, let's change the name. Demir Flash. This deck would kill for another, like, come into play untapped duel. Hey, Magic, thanks for the host. Yeah, Clover's, like, green something Clover has been pretty much all that I've been seeing. So I think we go first. Probably not the best hand, but more so just want to see how these things curve out. Saltai. Opponent just brought their standard deck. Four color. So I think I'd rather hit a land here. Okay, better than nothing. Might want to actually play the Trinomes in this deck. I should probably add those in after this. Threnody Singer. So we have some options here. If the opponent plays a creature, we can bounce it with the Shore Shark. here actually I think I'm on board for both lines opponent is using some quite ambitious mana base Siren beatdowns. Is it just like straight mono green ramp? That's fine. Every heartless act that doesn't hit our Slither Wisp is a beneficial heartless act. I'm assuming just our opponent's stuck mana base wise. So 
I'm just gonna fetch now. Let's get another swamp. Let's probably drop another Slither Wisp this turn. So this isn't as like counterspell based as some of the other blue flash decks. To be honest, the counterspells aren't that good right now. Like we could play Dispute maybe, but I think just being proactive. Just play out a bunch of dudes, draw cards. burn them out that way. So I'm actually going to drop... Nah. It's fine. Because if they have a board wipe, I can rebuild after the board wipe. I can actually burn them out. This comes in, it deals three damage. Or this comes in, it deals two damage, and then this would deal three damage. Shatter. Dunzos. All right, let's just add the um, what you calls it, the psycho lands. Triomes. We want a couple of these. I actually like these better than the temples. Just these always coming into play. Are these being able to be cycled? Run it like this. Cool. Let me actually get this up on Stream Decker and then we'll fire up another one. All right, let's queue up. I'll get this up on Stream Decker. Demir Flash. All right. You can find the deck list. Uh, exclamation deck. Hmm. Let's try this out. Opponent's on Luris. Oh, they're on cycling. Who's ready to get Xena flared? So, looking for a fourth land here. I can Shore Shark bounce afterwards, which isn't too bad. I figure cycling will be probably quite prominent. Ooh, we should try out the Unexpected Cyclone deck as well. Like stuff when Teferi's not in the format. Um, I actually want an untapped land, so I'm going to dig a bit deeper. So 
So we'll go Slither Wisp this turn, and then if I need to, I have Thieves Guild Enforcer, which is a little awkward just against the cycling deck, for putting more cards into their graveyard. Okay, so they just drew into the Fox. Not too worried about the Fox right now. We're hoping for a land. So they can block here in response to them cycling a Heartless Act. Because then Heartless Act gets worse with the counters on it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, this happens to be a fairy, a rogue as well, so it triggers the mill, which again is bad in this matchup. Normally we'd be fine with milling them. Which likely means they have the other in hand. Oh, this game's just been awkward mana base wise. Just never drew lands in time. Yep. Can't do much there. You need mana to play the game, and we decided to that uh, drawing lands was not where we want it to be. And we had quite a few redraws there too. Let's fire this up again. I wonder if you can do like a heavy self mill with Zenith Flare, a bunch of cyclers, and then like Mystic Sanctuary. I think we try this. The Bane of Demir Flash has been and likely always will be this mana base. Do this, put another counter on it. We might need more black sources. Eight, thirteen, fifteen. Kind of silly, folks. Yeah, mono blue. I think I, I was playing a blue white mill version with like Shatter the Skies. What are lands? Holy. This 1-1 one, one shark's going to get us to the promised land. So 
This was actually good because I get to cast Slither Wisp and cast Omen of the Sea. And I get a card draw off it because it has flash. Ah, the opponent is a player of class and sophistication as well. just take the three here we omen it's a cast trigger so at least we get to draw a card anyways thieves guild is fine mm. I think I want to prioritize getting more black up Vandal's fine. I think we just want density of uh, threats at this point. Just last turn. card kind of surprised they didn't offer the trade here like I'll probably trade my one drop for this here oh rewinds in this format I forgot about that We're headed the race right now. We're a little skimping on lands though, so I think getting a four mana would be a little tough. Just race our opponent now. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, sweet. So what I'll do is Oh, it's even better. Cuz then I can just brazen borrower as well. Theirs looks like a little bit bigger of a curve. We won. Like I think we're okay with the mana. Like 22. Maybe trim down on a shark, go up another black source. I 
I think we still run it like this. Like, we really only have four counters. Maybe let's try the rewind. Or... Is the counter sp what is it neutralize? Play a couple of those. Maybe we go Threnody Singer. It's just another flyer. No, I think we run it like this. Let's try it out. We can do cycling mill after this. Yeah. I mean, we're gonna go fairy vandal, counter everything you do. All right, well, here's the test. Can we beat adventures? Can be Golgari. So, pro tip if you want to play adventures, you always have to have turn one into turn two. This is a professional adventure player. Too much value. Professional League Probably just gonna drop down the Slither Wisp this turn. Just try to get some value going. Do it. Do it. Surprise Slither Wisp. Okay, not the worst. Do you want another blue source here? I think we just start pressuring them. Okay, so this is blue green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can see Beanstalk next turn. I'm really excited for this last card to be Brazen Borrower. Lofty Denial. We're just going to drop Brazen Borrower down. It makes this bigger. Speeds up our clock quite a bit. Okay. Make an attack. We've scared them into attacking with their edge wall. Lofty Denial is great here. So I can Lofty Denial as well as Neutralize. Worst case, I just bounce their Clover. Okay, 
Seeing two Faye wishes go away is fine. Assuming Faye can get either like discontinuity or Eugene. We're gonna see an Uro here is my guess. Neutralize looking nice here. Just like not let them gain life here. Mm. So it's lethal. So if I do this this deals one and i have eight power and attackers blue black flash get in there beat the old double edge wall double clover start we'll run probably one more with this one then i'll restart the client and we'll brew up another deck Clarion rotates. Your only sweeper is. Sounds gas. Ideally, Lofty Denial on two, Slither Wisp into Fairy Vandal. I think I want a fourth land. Blue green adventures. I will counter this. Like I can eat this, but Smartly play around it. And then silly attack into it. No attacks here, so I can go Fairy Vandal with Lofty Denial to make them pay for to counter. Only a card in the graveyard here. Go away. 